90% Mental is brought to you by Warcat Strength, San Jose's first high energy strength gym, and by Ike's Loving Sandwiches, championship level sandwiches every single time. Up next, we got Daniel Haymuli, senior 6'2, 225 pound inside linebacker, He's a three year starter for Menlo Atherton High School. He's also got 26 D1 scholarships. Awesome job. Thank you, thank you. So when we talk about your play as a linebacker, you're very tenacious and you do very, very well um, as far as technique goes. When it comes to being mentally tough, what does mentally tough mean to you? Um, you know, our coach, uh, you know, tries to emphasize, you know, give it all for the team and go all in. So, you know, I do, I'll do anything for my team to, to be successful. So if that means, you know, throwing my body out of the play, don't go and make your play out of my range, just I'll do it. Outside of football, what other sports do you play? How did you get involved in playing football, and how did you pick Menlo Atherton to be the high school to play for? Um, so I started football like in first grade. Uh, my father has been my coach ever since, and still is my coach. So uh, I carried on from there, and so <clears throat> I have the, the, our district is Menlathachin, so I ended up going there. Uh, I applied to some private schools and it just didn't work out, so I ended up at Menlathachin and I met the best coach in the world. So. You bet, you bet. You have over 26 D1 scholarship offers. What's that process been like for you? Um, so, you know, Coach Deere and I, my head coach, um, we, it was a process in the beginning which we, he kind of knew that was going to happen at the end of my junior season. Uh, so I, I was kind of expecting it, but I didn't think it would go this far. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it's, hard, it's hard to maintain sometimes um, with all the coaches hitting you up and having to be on the phone all the time. Um, so it, it kind of just it kind of fell in my hands and I just kind of took control of it, Got it. Um, as soon as possible. I know that you've slimmed down the, the amount of offers to eight. Who are the eight colleges that you picked and why? Um, UCLA, Washington, Nebraska, Ole Miss, TCU, Utah, Alabama. Wow, Alabama. Yes. So why why slim it down to eight? Um, you know, my phone uh, and contacting all the coaches that I knew for sure that I wouldn't that the, their university wouldn't fit me. It was <clears throat> it was. Uh, to be honest with them, and uh, Got it. and you know, shorten shorten it up would give me more time to think about the schools that I really would think about um, attending. So okay. it was really a time frame where I had to. Are you gonna wait until the end of the season? You're gonna select in the middle of the season? Um, Coach Adir and I and my family we're thinking about you know making a decision in December. The first thing I'm looking for is you know the brotherhood and you know coach to athlete communication. Um, being able to, you know, have my family come to the games and watch me play uh, is a big factor. But if we have to, uh, I'd, I would sign and make a decision in February. Okay. You were on the 2016 North Cal 3AA championship team and the CIF State runner-up team. What's your goal for this year? After that season, I kind of, I kind of wanted to go back, uh, uh, finish what we couldn't finish those that year, and what we couldn't finish last year. Right. So, um, you know, coming out successful, coming out with another ring, and coming out on top, it means a lot to me, especially leaving, leaving high school this Beautiful. year. Beautiful. How would you describe your play as a linebacker? Um, you know, I, I'm a player where I can run side, side to side, sideline to sideline. Uh, make, in between, make tackles in between tackles. So really thudding in between tackles is what I, I think I can, sure. I'm can. i most known for. I've watched your film. Man, you're fast, you're aggressive, you're tenacious. Man, you, you have no fear of hitting the gap. But there's a play that I want you to describe to me where you were tracking a, a running back out in the flat and you knocked the ball down. And it was just ferocious the way that you did it. You dropped the hammer. Can you share with me a little bit about that play? So we were playing Aragon. It was about third or fourth quarter. Um, there was not that much time left. And it was a do or die play. Uh, we were up by, I think, two. And, um, you know, having him score, would, it wouldn't be good. So I tried to make momentum. Uh, I, saw the, I saw the play unfold. Um, I ran straight to him. And it, I just popped it right out threw my hand over, just how we practice in practice. And so, um, you know, it was kind of like a, 
like I had to do it. So, so you're playing for one of the best coaches in the Bay Area. How has Coach changed the culture at Menlo, and how's he changed it within the community? Coach Deer uh, first started coaching. He at start first. He was a head coach my freshman year, so I met him as a head coach first. Um, you know, he's he's wonderful. He really changes the community around around MA a lot. Uh, he's getting a lot of kids out and giving exposures to most of the kids that wouldn't get it before he was there. So, um, you know, getting a lot of kids to college is, is one of one of his the big factors in him coaching us. So. Um, you know, he's done a great job. Uh, all the parents love him. My parents love him. So, you know, the community has very cha changed a lot. So your first game is against Bellerman, which is always a, t a tough game. Yes. So how are you mentally getting prepared for that game? Um, you know, we're, we're setting our defense to what, what they did last year. Um, and they always run the stack. So our offense is, um, is preparing for that as well. Um, so being able to, to play them again is, is a real blessing so we can, you know, probably get revenge. Uh, so, I'm, so our defense is, is ready for this one. Um, they always come out with a great offense and a really solid team. So, you know, we're conditioning like, like we have it before. Um, and I feel like mentally we're ready. We're there. Perfect. Perfect. So we talk about hype and how we deal with playing big teams, and you're going to be you're going to be traveling to, to Colorado in September, playing against Ballard Christian, dealing with Luke McCaffrey. How are you going to deal with the hype of playing that game? And as a leader, how do you teach the people around you to stay calm and cool? You know, our team. You know, we've a lot of people have been talking towards us as well. So you know, we kind of just we shut that aside and uh, you know put our head down and work. So. Uh, so that's a big one. Uh, we can't wait to get out there to see what that team is like uh, playing out of state. So, um, you know, we're, we're, up, we're up for the challenge and we're ready. In one word, how would you describe your play as a linebacker? Um, I would say elusive um, because, you know, I could, I could fill many roles in the defense. I could, you know, go down and play defensive end if they need me. I could play outside linebacker, inside linebacker. I could play nickel. And um, I think that, you know, being able to play multiple positions can help a team a lot. So when you're reflecting on last year's play, you're going into your senior year, what is one thing that you've learned about yourself the most? You know, um, carrying a team and having a leader uh, really does matter. Um, you know, being able to communicate with your players is a, is a big factor you need to have. Um, I found out, you know, that that you know, most of my teammates, you got to really push them to to get what you really want out of them. Um, being a leader to this team is, is very important to me. Um, you know, I look at these kids as as my little brothers, my older brothers. So, you know, taking care of them, they they mean everything to me. Uh, this team has has given me so much. You know, um, long lifelong relationships and kids I'll know for forever. So. I know that you've had a lot of people around you supporting you. You've had a family, you've talked about your family, you talked about your coaches and, and your team. Is there anybody you want to give thanks to or give a shout out to? Yeah, um, I, I, want to, I, I want to shout out my dad. Uh, he's always been there um, day by day, every day, um, by my side, you know, pushing me to work harder and harder. You know, after practice, every single day he's there with me, running sprints. So, you know, he's always been there to push me since day one. Um, I want to shout out Coach Adir for, you know, I wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for him. Awesome. So, yeah. Beautiful. So, before we leave, I have a gift for you. It's Get Sports Focus jersey. It's pretty clean here. Hey. There we go. That's tight. And we also got you a $15 gift certificate to Ike's. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Good luck this year. Yeah, you bet. <laughs>